Hello everyone and welcome to another war recap and as you can see this time we lost this war and that was the first time that we lost since I joined the clan so probably my good luck ended on this one. So let's see the stats of each clan. We currently have 162 wins and they have 165 so they had like 3 more wins than, than we do so they probably lost the war after us. So I also promised you that I'm gonna show you bases we had troubles with so I think we didn't 3 star one of the Town Hall 9's and as you can see number 17 we had 4 attacks on him until we 3 starred and number 23 so let's remember that 17 and 23 and then I'm gonna show you so that's what they've done they pretty much 3 starred all of our Town Hall 9's on the first attack except for this one maybe and that's what they've done so we had five Town Hall 10s and they had the Town Hall 10 advantage of two more Town Hall 10s and I think that was the reason that they won I think that with the same amount of Town Hall 10s we would win this war because I think we attacked better eventually we had a bad start but eventually we attacked better so we said number 23 let's see the base so this is the base looks pretty solid if you want to try it go ahead and let me know in the comments in a few days weeks I don't know if it works for you so so I promise that I'm gonna show in the war recap spaces we had trouble with so those are free that they're not ours and I really don't mind showing that because I don't know this clan anyway so feel free using those bases and this is 17 we we I had four attacks on it to three star it. It looks pretty solid. I think that the air defenses are not in a in a too good location and I think you can three star it pretty easily with hogs. So so if we had troubles with some base it doesn't mean it's a good base. But go ahead and try it. If you had a if you have a horrible base and you need a change, just try those and let me know how it works for you. So we're gonna have two parts in this war because there are so many good attacks and in this one we're, we're gonna have one Town Hall 8 attack, one Town Hall 10 attack and two Town Hall 9 attacks and in the next one we're gonna have four Town Hall 9 attacks and I'm all, I've also released separate videos, at least two or three are, are, are already out from this war and they're, gonna, they're not gonna be in the war recaps because I don't wanna show you the same stuff in two videos so this is the first one it's gonna be a go a hog attack. I don't know what he got in a clan castle. It might be a golem, but I think it's just hogs from what I remember. So he's luring the clan castle troops with some hogs and now taking them out with witches and hogs. And now he's gonna start the hog attack. As you can see, this base got only two possible locations for double giant bombs. One is over here that he detonated together with luring the clan castle troops, and the next one is gonna be here. So once he's seen that that was a double giant bomb there is gonna be only one bomb over here and that's no big deal just save a heal spell for that spot and your hogs are gonna be just fine so this base is not max I think that only the air defenses yeah looks like only the air defenses are not max so you can say it's a it's a max defense of town hall 8 because air defenses are not are not something that can do any damage to hogs so so now he's dropping the heal spell exactly in the place where the hogs are going to go and this base is down and let's get it faster so you can see it's a 3 star so 3 more attacks to show in this video and make sure you stay tuned for part 2 there, there are gonna be great attacks on it and this is a great 3 star by Danny so let's go to our next attack and it's gonna be number, let's decide which one, let's go for number 14. So number 14 is this one and it's an attack by Dharma. He's usually doing lava attacks but sometimes he's doing hog attacks as well. So this one is a go hog attack using three golems. So pretty nice 
you see such an attack, only 20 hogs and 3 golems and you get the 3 stars over this base with level 17 heroes and and max defenses, so pretty nice one, so golem is, golems are going in shielding for the heroes and for the wizards and now he's gonna drop the king as the last go, you want to make sure that the king is going to go exactly where you want into the jump spell and will get the enemy queen, that's the most important part and he's using a lightning spell on the crown castle troops so using a lightning spell became a very popular method since many people started putting them, their clan castle in the center of the base so town hall is not important anymore and I was talking about it in my base tips video so if you know, don't know about it I'll put a link in the description about this video and I put tips over there on how to build a base for town hall 9 and basically those, those are not the only tips and I already have more of them so so I'll probably make a part 2 of that video so let me know in the comments if you think that you want a part 2 if that wasn't enough I mean it had all the, all the basics but I guess I have more tricks on how to defend your base against all those popular new attacks inclu including Lavaloon attacks with, with golems and, and gohog attacks so I'll try making part 2 as fast as possible so let's go to the next one and is gonna be number 12. So he's using few hogs in the beginning to lure the clan castle troops and take it out that cannon as well. And now he's gonna gather the clan castle troops. So I'm gonna make it faster because it's one of the boring parts of any attack. All the clan castle troops dealing and the cleaning at the end, those are the boring parts in my opinion. So Basically the same method as before, golems are dropped, wizards and witches are cleaning the buildings from behind and king is sent last with a jump spell which gets right into the queen section. So this base is a known internet base, it's called popular Chinese base and I have a video on it with this attack exactly and dharma was the one who is doing it so he's a pro with attacking this base and the same method works every time against the same base so I'm gonna upload it not this attack but another attack which is pretty much exactly the same and you're gonna see how it works so the main idea is that there are two, two bombs over here and they're detonated one after the other if you're sending your hogs from the, that direction from the upper left part and this way he's able to get rid of two bombs together and the lower bombs are detonated but few more hogs that he's sending so that's the main method of taking out this base and I guess we can make it faster because only few defenses are left and it's pretty much cleaning so great attack over here and um, I'll make sure to upload this type of attack on this type of base to the base beat section there's gonna be a link I think there's a link in the video you can click on it and go right to the base beat section so you can see how to twist our all popular internet bases so this one was number 12 and let's go to number 5 and that's gonna be the town hall 10 attacks so gonna be a lava attack with a golem and it's kind of um town hall nine and a half not many defenses are upgraded to town hall tens so they're actually more of lower than town hall nine but still great attack it's not that easy to restart a town hall ten so first of all is getting a golem into the queen section and using his 40, level 40 queen to take out the queen and now he's gonna take out the clan castle troops as well he's using a, a lightning spell but I think that a level 40 queen it will easily take out the clan castle troops even without it but 
but he get it, gets it so as you can see the king was released way too early and it started going around the beast so that wasn't planned and the main idea was that the king is going to go into the court together with the queen and take out the, at least one of the inferno towers I think one would be good but he's still able to take out that base for 3 stars even although he made that mistake in the beginning of the battle and as you can see 3 of the lavas are still alive so that's gonna be a total overkill over that base so those infernos are definitely not enough and it looks less less an overkill than than it should have been because that king could have taken that inferno tower well very easily so that's the last one and make sure you stay tuned for part 2 if you like it hit the like and subscribe button check out the facebook page and of course check out the website there's a link on the video on the right right here where you can go to the base beat section and to the website so that's it we'll see each other in the next video bye bye